What's going on, brothers? Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew. Past couple of days have been pretty busy, so I haven't really been able to put out any videos. Um, but I'll talk about what I've been doing this week. So stay tuned. Let's check it out. So the first thing I did uh, this week was these uh, these upper lights on my cabinet were really bright because of the way they were facing. They were facing, you know, directly at you at eye level um, because of the the top here. You couldn't really have the lights, you know, shining down. So what I decided to do in my best option was um, during one of my welding labs, I welded up these baffles for each set of lights. Um, we'll get in here and we'll kind of adjust this, dim it down, and you can see it go through the different range. But uh, they work really well to project the, the light down on top of the countertop and not at your eyes. Now I constructed them out of aluminum, uh, welded up the sides of them and kind of put uh, little notches in for the wires to be able to run, be run through. Um, they came out really well. I'm really pleased with them. They project a lot of light downward and it really makes the box look a lot more uh, professionally done than the way I had it set up before. I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to be painting those or not. Um, it, it really matches the, the brush stainless steel, the brush aluminum, but I'll probably uh, end up painting those and then clearing them at some point. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on that or 100% sold on that idea. So here are the lights all the way bright and as you dim them down. You can see how much light is projected or not projected. Um, but I'm really happy with the uh, overall appearance of them. And, uh, you know, I made them the way I wanted them to be. I mean, that's the whole basis of this box was to be able to buy a box for cheap enough where um, it really turned out the way I wanted it to be. Um, you know, with the, the different lighting features. And I have some other stuff on order for... Um, the cork board. Now the next thing I did was um, I had that aerosol holder that I needed to paint so I got a hold of some paint that was pretty much the same color and I went and I uh, you know sanded it down and then I started to paint it and clear coated it so we'll check that out. Now this is just the first coat I have a clear on it probably putting another coat on it but uh, for right now it appears to be pretty close to the same color. Now that's the top side, you can see it, it's got a pretty good shine on it and it looks like it's really going to match well. You can see, I mean, we have a lot of really cool stuff going on here, um, a lot of different projects. Uh, we'll take a quick like, look at some of those. Um, we've been working on transmissions, so uh, got a couple different setups, got an Eaton over there, um, you know, a variety of stuff going on there. And uh, these are the, the big rigs that we learned how to do air brakes on and uh, take injectors out and do different services like that. Uh, in the back, there's a, you know, like a big wheeled excavator. And then uh, up forward, we're gonna have more of, uh, this is where they're doing like hydraulic labs. We get some stuff from Cat Caterpillar to kind of play with. These are brand new machines. Um, they get rented out down here for free basically and then you know we get to test different stuff on them and and learn on them and uh, it's a pretty cool concept along with using just like a, a basic um, hydraulic board to learn out how to do flow and all those uh, you know specific things along with uh, specialty tools such as you know different monitoring systems uh, gauges and different setups like that in the machine shop we have uh, a small bridge port and milling area but uh, up at the actual college we have a, a huge um, you know machining area and maybe I'll insert some films in here right after this so you can see that but it's pretty impressive here at school alright brothers that's all I got today I um, hope you enjoyed this video leave a, a comment down below if you see something that interests you we can look at it more and uh, as always, you know, keep it moving forward and uh, have a great day. I'm going to clean up my mess here and then I'm going to see if I can learn how to use Adobe Processor to make this video right now. All right, have a good day.